Mr. Frederick, congratulations on securing All India Rank 1616 in GATE 2023 in Computer Science uh, paper. Uh, Mr. Frederick, how do you feel after securing this uh, rank of uh, 16 in the GATE examination? Actually, thank you, sir. Actually, I'm feeling so great. Right. Uh, uh, Mr. Frederick, uh, can you please introduce yourself briefly? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I am uh, actually I am a BTEC graduate from Kerala itself. I completed my BTEC in Electronics and Communication uh, in the 2018. Then I worked for one year and after that I did freelancing for mobile development for two years. Then I decided to do my MTech and I appeared for the gate to do the group. Okay. One thing interesting point, uh, Frederick, you actually uh, belong to electronics uh, branch of engineering. Yeah, sure, sir. Sure. Okay. Now, why do you want why you have taken the paper in the computer science any specific reason uh, yes sir actually even in electronics while studying electronics i more or less uh, like subjects towards the computer science domain like digital electronics and uh, uh, yeah coa then artificial neural networks like more or less related to computer science but that that portion of service is uh, how how much you, can you quantify 10% or 20%? Ah, it's 20%. 20%. <laughs> Maybe 10%. Yeah. Okay, 20 to 30%, let us say. 20 to 30%. The rest of the syllabus is uh, pure computer science. Yeah, it's entirely different. So, so you want to do MTech in uh, computer science? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, good. Good. Uh, that's why you took this uh, gate paper in computer science. Ah, yes. Right. Finally, you are successful. Uh, Mr. Yes. Frederick, uh, you please tell us what type of coaching program you have availed from our ACE Academy? Uh, I uh, took offline coaching in the institute, in ACE Institute in Hyderabad. Uh, as well as I took the online test series also. In which year you took the coaching in Hyderabad? 2022. 2022, right. Last year you took. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it was six so months. You are the, uh, yes. You are the classroom coaching student of ACE Academy. You took the coaching, uh, I think, last year. For this gate examination, you are student yes, of sir. academy in the 2022 year. Right? Yes, sir. Good, Mr. Frederick. Uh, actually, you belong to computer. Uh, you belong to electronics branch, but you took the coaching in this uh, classroom coaching of uh, of AS Academy in the computer science uh, branch, and you cracked this uh, computer science uh, gate paper with a wonderful rank of 16. So, you please tell us how this uh, AS classroom coaching helped you in developing the subject of this uh, computer science and cracking with a good rank like this? Mm, ACE uh, coaching was uh, mostly helpful since it was online. Uh, I had many uh, help from my peers also. And uh, it, it was uh, motivating since it was uh, online class and one-to-one -one classes in the lectures. You are saying, uh, Offline, you are offline coaching, right? Classroom yes. coaching student, offline. Yeah, it was offline. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it was much more helpful since it was offline. Okay, right. That's what I was saying. Okay, right. Good. We understand. We understand. Uh, in this uh, journey, did you ever face any difficulty in understanding these computer science subjects? Mm -hmm. uh, it was not that difficult uh, since uh, mm, computer science is uh, very much related to mathematics and aptitude. It, it, it was not that difficult, but it was not easy also. So, so you were comfortable in this uh, preparation? Yeah, I was comfortable. Right. Good. Uh, Frederick, uh, when you were attending this uh, classes of PS Academy in Hyderabad branch, yes. while attending the classes, right, again, you have to do some revision work. So how you have planned this, uh, attending the classes, doing the revision work, solving the PYQs of gate papers, and again, taking the mock test. So can you yeah. tell me something about you, the strategy, what you made there and the planning, what you have done? Oh, yeah, sure, sir. Uh, actually, till August to September, I had classes. So I was going through the classes and I think I never missed a single class. So uh, one time I got sick, except that I never missed a single class. So I was uh, very... Uh, sure about that, that I never missed our classes. So till August, I was preparing 
only on the class notes and stuff because uh, I was new to the computer science branch. Uh, many of the subjects were new to me. So I prepared uh, entirely from the classroom. Then after August, uh, I started my revision and doing mock tests uh, and uh, other tests. Uh, so I took a subscription from test series and I started uh, revising one subjects and uh, doing test series. So basically I didn't revise the entire subjects uh, like uh, subject wise. What I used to do is I uh, revise some portions. Then I used to do questions. I used to do more questions than revision. Uh, so uh, I used to uh, answer questions in different platforms. And I used to answer questions in Telegram. So that helped me a lot. So I used to have discussions with other students also regarding few questions. So I'll get uh, uh, to know about some other materials or uh, uh, standard textbook content, which I can read. So I'll get more information. So uh, preparation was like that. Uh, actually, I haven't done uh, revision multiple times. I just did one revision. Uh, the next few times when I did revision was when I was doing questions, when I stacked up. So during those times, I did my uh, revision. Okay. That's how I did my revision actually. Right. Okay, perfect. Then, and apart from this uh, classroom running notes, uh, the class lectures, etc. Uh, did you refer to any textbooks additionally in this uh, preparation? Is it necessary, uh, first of all? No, according to me, I don't think it's necessary. Right. So you did not refer to any textbooks also? Uh, no, no, I haven't referred to any textbook entirely. Some portions I have uh, referred, like very few small topics. Okay, right. So it's wonderful, uh, Mr. Frederick. See, Frederick, this entire syllabus of this computer science in the gate exam, uh, hmm. Uh, what time did you complete and after that what you used to do in the pre preparation? Uh, actually, uh, the first time when the classroom notes were completed, I mean so classrooms were completed, almost 75% uh, of the uh, subjects were clear. So some of the subjects I had faced with few difficulties like uh, TOC, CM. So uh, like these subjects, I have faced some difficulty. So I start, started to read or get reference from other uh, areas and platforms also. So what happened is uh, it this uh, tougher subjects for me like CEN, TOC, this took a little more time. So within November and you can say that I have completed all the syllabus and I started giving full length tests in December. So in this uh, November month onwards, you are giving this full length mock tests. Ah, yes, so in this mock test, where you used to stand in the yes mock test, rank wise? Uh, it was uh, in the top rank actually. Okay, good, good. Uh, Frederick? Yes, sir. So from this uh, successful journey, mm -hmm. right, being electronic student and preparing in the gate uh, CS paper, cracking with a good rank of 16, yeah. uh, from this successful journey, what sessions, what tips that you want to share with the other aspirants who want to take gate exam paper in the computer science? Yeah, um, actually, uh, if, uh, according to me, if I have to give some suggestions to other aspirants, computer science is, uh, you can uh, crack a computer science gate with uh, aptitude. So you need to improve your aptitude and do the uh, courses. So concept should be very clear. And if you are good with your aptitude, computer science uh, gate paper is not that much difficult. Uh, so you should uh, improve uh, your aptitude by computer science subjects like TOC, algorithms, discrete mathematics. These things will help you improve your aptitude. So if you are very good with your aptitude and discrete maths is very based to computer science actually. So you can spend uh, uh, most of the time in discrete maths. So it, it will help you improve two things basically aptitude and the computer science knowledge. So if, if you are good with these things, actually computer science gate is uh, uh, achievable very much. Okay. So in this computer science uh, branch, uh, among those so many subjects what you have in the syllabus, uh, yeah. which subjects you felt a little bit difficulty? Uh, little bit difficult to... Nothing like that. Uh, CD. Actually, it's not difficult. The questions are easy, but... Uh, Okay. Uh, like, of course, uh, it I, may vary from person to person also. I just asked in your case, 
because yeah. you happen to be from electronics branch yeah that is the reason since since i was from electronics branch i don't know whether it is because of that but i was comfortable with the system subjects okay yeah c c o a c m it was okay for me okay so on the day of gate examination in the 3 hours in the gate examination hall uh, did you follow any specific strategy while answering this one mark or two marks aptitude questions like that Uh, actually this year it was uh, tricky because previous two years it was uh, mixed they were mixing the questions uh, and uh, in this year uh, uh, for the aptitude part they mixed and in the technical part they have in mixed it was one mark question first and two mark question next so for the first four questions i did it, like uh, i was doing like one mark first four question i did one mark then i changed my strategy and i went and did all the two marks first and came back to the one mark and uh, i think half an hour hour before the exam like like 25 minutes remaining i completed the paper and uh, uh, there were few questions i left so i came back and did that that's what i did for the three years okay so for this uh, 16th rank uh how many marks you got and what is the uh, score gate score this 84.6 and gate score is 930 gate score 930 okay yes. so with this gate 16th rank Which M Tech specialization you are going to pursue? Uh, I will be applying for I um, CS branch, CSA branch in IAC. Okay, right. Or so, CS in IIT Bombay, that is second preference. Okay, right. Good, Mr. Frederick. Uh, uh, thank uh, you, thank you for joining and sharing your uh, preparation uh, tips with us. I thank once you, again congratulate you. and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank right. you sir thank you and best you frederick yeah thank you. you convey our best wishes to your parents and your friends also wish you sir also sir yeah god bless you thank you sir